Hey everyone, welcome to Installation 00, and more specifically, welcome to the Armory. This is where all weapons from Halo lore be featured and analysed in detail. In this episode, we look at the legendary Rocket Launcher. Let's begin. The M41 Surface to Surface Rocket Medium Anti Vehicle Assault Weapon, or M41 SSR MAV AW, and commonly known as the Jackhammer, or Spanker is a heavy ordnance weapon used by the UNSC. While it has been referenced that it is in fact called the M19 surface to surface missile, this is in fact related to the launcher's ammunition. It is manufactured by Mystery Armory and while it was obsolete before the Human Covenant War began, it was not replaced by the M57 Pylum until October 2558. Though there have been various shoulder launched rocket launchers in service with the UNSC Armed Forces since its creation, only the M41 rocket launcher has the tactical importance to be heavily manufactured. The M41 SSR has been in service with the UNSC for decades, as early as the insurrection. The rocket launcher measures an arguably reasonable 55.4 inches or 141 centimeters in length a mere 10.2 inches or 26 centimeters in width and 17.4 inches or 44 centimeters in height and weighs 10.8 kilograms or about 24 pounds. It is worth noting that since the ammunition of the rocket launcher includes their own barrels, when the user has expended their ammunition, they can discard the barrels and instead carry practically just the weapon's grip, shoulder stock and firing mechanism, making it massively portable until the user finds more ammunition. The M41 rocket launcher features a 2 times smart linked sight, allowing users to fire rockets over long distances with devastating accuracy, although the rocket's altitude does decrease over long distances. Many M41s and their M19 rockets are equipped with target tracking systems. These systems allow the operator to home on a target, which often guarantees that the target will be struck, even if it attempts evasive maneuvers. Some launchers are capable of tracking both ground-based and airborne targets, while others are capable of only tracking aircraft. Some M41s lack any form of tracking technology, requiring the operator to dumb fire the weapon without targeting assistance. Some M41s feature a trigger guard and ergonomic thumbhole stock, adding the impression of greater bulk, however, other versions lack these design features, possessing only a pistol grip and no trigger guard, resulting in a more skeletal overall appearance. The M41 rocket launcher fires M19 102mm high explosive shaped charge missiles. The weapon uses a unique system for loading and firing, rather than using a traditional magazine or single shot system, it is fed by a pair of detachable barrels each of which holds a single rocket. When one of the rockets is fired, the other is cycled into place. When both have been fired, the operator removes the barrel unit and inserts another. This allows the operator to quickly reload while in combat and greatly reduces the weight he carries without throwing the weapon away, as with some disposable rocket launchers of the 20th and 21st centuries. The rocket launcher spreads a huge amount of damage over a large area, it is capable of taking out entire groups of infantry at any range and can kill both passengers and crew of nearly any vehicle, like the M808B main battle tank or Wraith. Its ability to fire two shots in rapid succession is also a major advantage. The M41 SSR, though powerful, is implemented as an anti-vehicle weapon, not designed for engaging in infantry. Thus, its reload time is quite slow it takes about 3 to 5 seconds for the M41 to be fully reloaded. The rockets are slow and leave a trail of smoke in their wake, giving away the operator's position. Ammunition is often limited or unavailable and the operator can carry only 6 extra rockets at once, for a total of 8 rounds. The biggest disadvantage to the operator is the blast radius of the rocket. If fired too close, the splash damage can severely injure or kill its operator if fired carelessly into the surrounding terrain, or at close enemies. The Spanker rocket launcher is a time and battle tested design which allows great flexibility for storage and portability, while also being particularly modular and an excellent force amplifier, should the situation call for it. 
Its dual barrel design and simple reload system allows a user to put a significant amount of ordnance downrange in a very short space of time and can be utilised to devastating effect against armoured targets and vehicles if handled correctly. Nothing levels the playing field in quite the same way a rocket does. Thanks for watching. If you're new to the channel and like your theories and Halo technology being analysed in insane levels of detail, hit that subscribe button and the little bell icon so next time I put a video out, you're told the second it hits the shelves. Also, if you really like the channel, consider popping over to Patreon and give whatever support you can over there. It massively helps me out and frees up more time for me to put into this Halo content and other Halo-related projects. Thanks again, everyone. Now go rest your brain.